Welcome to our keynote speaker from Tech Talk on our Thursday of third day of Talk Europe 2022. Amar Kanan, he's the CEO of Terminal Investment Limited. You've been giving a presentation this morning, uh, well received, well attended. Uh, title was Consideration for Automation at Container Terminals. Um, can you give us a brief overview of uh, what you're talking about, please? There are three challenges that, that we as operators have to be very conscious of as we uh, implement and, and develop automated terminals. There's the challenge of integration, which everyone that has attempted to automate or, or build an automated terminal has gone through. But that's a challenge that will resolve itself. Um, I challenge the industry to um, offer better integrated services in that regard. There's the challenge of the commercial model between the system supplier and the operator. That has to evolve because as we become more and more automated, the supplier of the system becomes our partner. And that commercial relationship cannot remain the way it used to be. You buy for a license and you pay for maintenance. There has to be some level of risk that the supplier takes and, and becomes a true operating partner to us in ensuring that automated terminals remain productive and efficient. And the third challenge is the challenge of um, making sure that automation is supported by the community and by labor. And there we believe at TIL that the objective of automation should not be in the reduction in operating costs, i.e. the replacement of a person with a machine. We believe the objective of automation should be densification using the same footprint but doing more with that footprint. And if you do that, if you focus automation on, on that objective, then you can densify, increase capacity without increasing your footprint without having to fill the water, add more yard, adding more negative environmental impacts, and not reducing the labor workforce. So, in my view, that is the model to be adopted for a successful partnership in automation. So with, with densification, I imagine with, uh, with, the, with the efficiency savings that come with that, it's also a sustainable gain uh, from a, a, a port operator's perspective. Um, and I imagine there's also health and safety gains too to Absolutely. be made Absolutely. Absolutely. There are health and safety gains. Your, your you know, workers are now sitting in a control center rather than walking around. Um, they are remotely controlling cranes rather than having to work the crane with you know, their back down. So clearly there are health and safety um, benefits efficiency benefits and the efficiency benefits again I underline would not come in the model we are advocating from slashing down the workforce they would come from doing more with that footprint with that workforce. Uh, I have to say uh, Mr. Kanan when I was waiting to uh, interview you this morning there was quite a queue in front of me and that made me think how great it is to be back at a, a real world event um, how does it feel from your perspective being at a, a Talk Europe, a, a live event again? It's, it's very important. I mean, I unfortunately I'm only here for this morning, but in the time I had before my talk and after my talk, I managed to chat with probably two dozen people in the industry about issues that you would not necessarily take the time to do it on Zoom. And by doing it face to face, informally, you achieve a lot. There's no second to this. Well, that's great to hear. Thank you very much for finding the time to speak to Talk Europe. It's the coffee. <laughs> <laughs>